Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we're going to continue our jigsaw joint tutorial definition. And to continue this, I'm going to go to Curve and grab the Line button. I'm going to copy this and have three of these lines because I need three lines for our joint. The top here and then the two bottom ones. And then I need to grab the points from these rotations from the this rotation if I unpreview because we need these points at the end of the circles and a quick way to do that we're going to we're going to x form a fine and scale these points twice as twice as big so then they're touching at the end points of the circles so those are the points which is going to be our geometry that we want to rotate I'm going to copy this button I'm going to change the name to 2 and set number to 2 since we want to scale it twice as big that will be f for the scaling factor and then c will be our evaluative points so I'm going to reconnect that to C. So now you can see that it scales twice as big. So if I connect the the line here, it will create two lines. And to fix this, we're going to dispatch these um, geometries out so they're separate. So I'm going to grab the dispatch button from Logic. And I'm going to dispatch them. So now A will go into A, B will go into A, and now we have just one line. And then this A will go into the first B, going to the bottom geometry from rotate. And then that B will go here, and this curve will go here, or that line. So now we have our three lines that we want to create. And I'm just going to move this out of the way. I'm going to unpreview the scale, unpreview the dispatch, unpreview the rotations. And then next thing we want to do is to create the S curve, which will be our joint. And to do that, we'll go to curve, go to primitive, and grab the arc three point. We're going to need four arcs to form our S. We know that A, one of the points must be at the center, which is at one of the endpoints. So that's from the evaluative points. I'm just going to move these things closer. So A will go, the first two arcs will go the first two arcs the A values will go into the first evaluative point and then the second evaluative button the P will go into the second set of arcs for A and then C which will be the the dispatch the values of the dispatch I'll just preview these again so the first two C's will go into the first dispatch and then the second two C's will go into the second dispatch. So I'll unpreview these again. And then the next thing we need to do is from these circles we need to find a point on the circle so it can finish off the arc. So we'll go to curve analysis and grab the evaluative length. We're going to need four, one for each arc. We also need four circles, so I'm going to copy and paste this. And then we need to dispatch these geometry, so we have four separate circles. Let's go to Logic and grab the Dispatch again. And then reconnect the A and B to the respective circles. I'm going to unpreview the Dispatch. And then connect the curve to the circles. And I'm just going to grab number sliders to show you guys how this, how the arc button works. And I'm going to unpreview these, or let's leave the value of points, but unpreview these circles. And then these points will go into B of the arcs. So now you can see that there's two curves or four arcs. Now if we control this, that creates the other arc if we we turn the slider. And now we're going to reverse this one, which is going to be this curve. So if I move this to the other side. So now, now there's our joint. So if I go back to the beginning of this tutorial and unpreview the curve, 
And here is our radius of our circle, so we can change that. And the distance between the two circles, or the four, the four circles, to, change, to create our joint. So, we want to now join these arcs together and these lines together. So we can go to Curve, go to Utilities, and grab the Join Curves. I'm just going to quickly join these curves by holding down Shift. And then I'm going to unpreview these lines and the arcs. And the value of points. And I'm just going to leave these sliders here. We're going to, the next tutorial we're going to do is to offset these curves and also be able to flip the curve, which is in in uh, in the end be able to flip the joint so the joint is going to be facing the other way and that's it for this part of the tutorial and thanks for watching